Hello my dear students. Today we will learn how to reply to an invitation. Students, we write reply in formal way also and in an informal way as well. And in both the categories, we write reply for acceptance and reply for refusal as well. And when we are writing refusal at that time, it is our courtesy to write the reason as well all right but remember in formal reply we don't use first person that is i we etc let's see the format now for formal reply first we will write sender's address then comes date after that content concluding line and signatory that's it there is no Subject, there is no salutation and there is no receiver's address. Please keep in mind, students. Let me show you the example of reply of acceptance, students. See the sender's address, 12th Kailas Mark, New Delhi. Date is 22nd December 2020. Content section, Mrs. and Mr. V. K. Nair. Thank Mrs. and Mr. Bhatnagar for the invitation to the inauguration of their showroom Chandmal on 1st January 2021 at 10 a.m. at B2 Pitampura, Delhi. They confirm their presence. Wish best wishes. The Nayars. Students, informal reply. No receiver's address required. No salutation. No subject and use third person even if i am writing the reply for the invitation that i have received then i will write miss roshni shah has received an invitation from your institution for the annual day function to preside over as a chief guest as the chief guest which is going to be held on 22nd December 2020, she confirms her presence. Students, I will not write, I have received an invitation from so and so institution and I confirm my presence. This language will not be acceptable. Okay, therefore we have to use third person. Let's see the next example of reply of refusal. Students, in this section, we have to follow entire thing just similar to reply of acceptance. Alright. And then in the concluding paragraph, we will just change the line by however they express their inability to present on the occasion due to a prior engagement. I hope it's clear to you all now. Students, let's move to informal reply of acceptance. The format is this. Sender's address, date, salutation, content, concluding paragraph and signatory. Here, compared to formal reply, salutation is added. Alright, there is no other difference. Let me show you one example of informal reply of acceptance. Students see out here, the sender's address is 112 Hilkat Road, Methibari, Salbari, 11th May 2020. Dear Rohit, I feel delighted to receive the invitation of Rasmi Didi's marriage, which is on Tuesday, 22nd December 2020, at 4 pm onwards at Hotel Taj, Salbari, Siliguri. I will definitely be there. See you soon in the function. Accept my Congratulations. Yours lovingly, Akash. Let me show you example of refusal as well. Everything will remain same as I told you. Sender's address, date, salutation, then content. There will be change in the concluding paragraph. Concluding paragraph. And it is, however, I am sorry to say that I won't be able to attend the ceremony as I have to go to Kanpur to attend an interview. See you soon. Yours lovingly, Akash. Students, in 
an informal reply we can use first person that is i we as well all right i hope the topic is clear if you have any queries you can ask me any time thank you